It's time to find out which team is the best in the black country with the Huggle Pets in the community fundraising quiz. Please welcome your host, Jason Forrest. Welcome along to finals day for the Huggle Pets in the community quiz. Hannah from Huggle Pets joins me once more. Hello. Hello, Jason. How are we doing? I'm all right. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Now, it's been a busy week. We've got our teams back as we have currently FBC Mamby Bowder pitting their wits against the Bilston campus of the City of Wolverhampton College team. And how are things looking so far? OK, so um, we've got Wolverhampton winning one, one round and FBC Mamby Bowder winning three rounds. Um, but we've currently got the scores for uh, them, FBC Mandy Baylor on 16 and a half mm-hmm. and Wolverhampton College on 11 and a half. So there's not much between them. So what we're going to do is we are going to have a final round of 15 questions, which are all on an animal theme. Now, they have to buzz in. Uh, so uh, we need each person to uh, share the buzzers. Now, anybody who's watching the video on this, uh, we've got uh, Matthew who keeps turning into uh, a still image of himself and Anne who now is just looking at the camera. And, and it's difficult to tell whether Anne's frozen or not, but she, she's actually <laughs> a profile picture now, aren't you, Anne? I think she's live. Is she? No, not live. It's difficult to tell with Anne, isn't it? Um, but, uh, there we go. She keeps moving about. She's a different bit of the house today. So uh, we're yeah, going to hear your uh, animal noises as squeakers or, uh, or, or soft toys. So this could drive all of the pets absolutely mad. So uh, let's first of all uh, see your squeakers uh, or hear your noises, please, all together. <laughs> It's Richard, I think, we're most worried about there, isn't it? As his was the pig noise, but there we go. So, um, I've got to try and work out who buzzes in. Hannah is going to help me. If it's in, in like a university challenge, Hannah can go, uh, yeah, City Wolverhampton College, Richard. Okay, so can you can you do that bit for me? Yeah, no problem. Okay, so Hannah will decide who is going to be answering the question. As I say, 15 questions. It is currently 11 to 16. FBC man be better. Hoping to continue to show their prowess today, but we will see what happens with our 15 questions. Here we go then. First one. Which bird is the international symbol of happiness? Oh, my God. No takers there. We can give clues this time round. Uh, there is a colour in the name. Oh, I hear a cow. Uh, ha- Hannah, who was that? Was that Hannah? Hannah yeah. Smith, yeah. What's your a answer? Bluebird, a bluebird? Is the correct answer. One point. Question number two. This animal was mentioned in Alice in Wonderland and was last sighted in Mauritius. What is the name of this bird? No longer with us, sadly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Hannah, who was first there? Sue. Sue. Oh, no, no, I pressed my mother. The dodo. Is the correct answer, Sue. Well done. Question three. Which animal has the largest beak? Sue. <laughs> Pelican. It is not. In fact, it is, it is which animal? Because it's not only birds that have beaks. Anybody else want to buzz in? That's Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. Oh, Michelle. Hannah, which one was it? Was that Michelle or was it Richard? Michelle. Michelle, definitely. Okay, Michelle, what's your answer? Aardvark. It's not an aardvark. Uh, we'll give one last chance as, as Richard's <laughs> squeezing that pig for more than his life's worth. Uh, is it a narwhal? It isn't. It is a giant squid. Question number four. Which animal has the longest lifespan? So... <laughs> I think so. I, I, I was going to guess Hannah's going to say Sue was in there first because she was. Sue? <laughs> Sorry. What? Um, the uh, turtle. It's not a turtle. Sophie, Sophie. Sophie. Sophie's going to go next. Oh, it's got to be a whale, hasn't it? They last forever. It's an Arctic whale, yes. <laughs> Yes. They, they last forever unless they get turned into whatever it is you turn whales into rather distressing. We want to keep them safe. Save our whales, that's what I say. Agreed. Next Agreed. up, question five. Which animal never sleeps? Oh, it's Hannah. not Matthew, whatever he looks like. Hannah. <laughs> Hannah goes... Bat. Oh, is that true? No, bats. Bats sleep. They hang upside down when they do that. <laughs> oh, sorry. Any say. takers, Will? Will's got one, Will. Is it a shark? It's not. I'll give you the answer. Put you out your misery. It is a bullfrog. Oh. Oh, Question number six. 
which is the only venomous snake native to the UK. Oh, Matthew! <laughs> Richard was first. The Viper. It's not, Matthew. Matthew. Is the correct Matthew. answer. Question seven. Which creature has the largest brain in proportion to its body? It is not Will. It is not Sophie. Who is it? Oh, I don't know then. <laughs> Which is guessing. Uh, squid? It's not. Uh, any of, then what are these features in the film round on Monday? Sue. Sue, Sue. what's your answer? Ant. Is the correct answer. Oh, Question eight. Oh, so clever. <laughs> <laughs> Question eight. What substance are shark skeletons made of? Because sharks don't have bones. No. Oh my god. Well, it's um. Thingy tip. Is it? Um. Oh, Will's got one. He is it, it cartilage? It is correct answer. Well done, Will. Yes, Will. Question nine. What is a group of giraffes known as? This is a good answer. I like this answer. Michelle. Michelle, what do you reckon? A herd? It isn't. It's something sort of taller than that. Any takers? Oh, Sophie. 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 I'm going to go with a tower. Is the correct answer. Yes. Excellent. I don't know. I just thought of Eiffel Tower when you said something tall, and so I just went with it. I'm I'm good with that. It was the correct answer. I'm great at clues. You're good at answering questions. We're a fantastic team. (laughs) Question 10. What type of animal is a Mexican hairless? A Mexican hairless what? Anyone guessing? I'll just guess. A lizard. It's not a lizard, because there are no lizards renowned for their ability to have hair gel applied. Um, Michelle. So who's going next? Is it Michelle? Michelle. A cat. It's not a cat. One last Richard. attempt at an answer, please. Richard. Richard. Fox. It's actually a dog, so uh, even though they're related, I'm not giving you that one. Uh, question <laughs> number 11. Which bird can fly backwards? Shell. It, okay, Hannah, who was it? I thought Will got in there first. Will, yeah, Will. what's your answer? A hummingbird. Is the correct answer. Question 12. Which country is the natural habitat and home of lemurs? And it's not Dudley, because I know they've got some at the zoo. Michelle. Think, oh, I don't think Will, have, Will have got his hand in the air, but it hasn't mastered shouting his name at the same time, because this is radio. <laughs> Will? Um, is it Peru? It's not Peru. So Michelle, uh, Michelle was next. Michelle. Madagascar. Is the correct answer. And that's because yeah. it's your favourite film, isn't it? That's the reason you know I, that. I do like Madagascar, Jason, yes. Yeah. Which is good. <laughs> Question 13. What gives the flamingo its distinctive pinky-orange colour? Oh, hang on, Hannah, you've got to decide there. Will went up the cat. Uh, yeah, it, it's the shrimp it eats, isn't it? It is not shrimp. Okay. Michelle, Michelle. what do you reckon? The prawns that it eats. No, last chance that was. It's actually the type of algae. So oh. it's when they get their five a day, it makes them go pink. Penultimate question. Which flightless bird is the emblem of New Zealand? So... Hannah, uh, who got in there first? Sue. You, you're so. Sue? Okay, Sue, what's your answer? Kiwi. It is a kiwi. And our final question. How many legs does a lobster have? Before you've eaten it, how many legs does a lobster have? Michelle. Michelle. Who was there Michelle. first, Hannah? Was that Michelle? Michelle. It was. Oh, sorry, Michelle, what's your answer? Six. Is not right. Who's going to go next? Um, Richard. Eight. Is not right. Sue. Sue, Sue. what's your answer? That's one. Ten. Ten is the correct answer we got there in the end. Absolutely excellent. So, before we have our final scores from Hannah at Huggle Pets, just because she's got to add this up, uh, first of all, uh, let's have our, our team captain from FBC Mambi Bowder. I mean, what, what does it mean to you, the sort of work they do at Huggle Pets? Are you, I mean, are you excited about the chance of winning and getting a, a, along there if it is you who's taking the prize? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we met just before the lockdown with Huggle Pets with a few more of the team and everyone just loves what they're about. I mean, a lot of work that we do in private client team is working with people with mental health and special educational needs as well. Um, so it really means a lot if we can try and promote Huggle Pets to our clients as well. So, yeah, we're really looking forward to being able to go down and we'll continue to support them. 
And Richard, fingers crossed. I mean, you guys are also hopefully <laughs> going to uh, you're hoping to win. I mean, when it comes down to yeah, the, to the team over at uh, the City of Wolverhampton College, I mean, you guys work with uh, an awful lot of the community, so this uh, it's another great opportunity to to get involved with something, isn't it? It's been brilliant. We've been working with Huggle Pets uh, since the lockdown and uh, uh, Hannah has done some wonderful work with our students, helping them uh, do work experience and uh, share their pets and their passions and the things that they're interested in uh, with people within the community. So it's, it's been really, really good. We've really enjoyed uh, working with Hannah and Huggle Pets and we're hoping to uh, continue that in the future. So on we go to our final scores for the quiz part of the round and we'll get Hannah back. Back, uh, when she have got a total on the uh, the fundraising in a short while's time. But, Hannah, remind us of the prize these two teams have been playing for. OK, so the people who, the team who will be, uh, have win, this, win the actual quiz on the radio will get a team um, corporate day, which is where they come down and they do bush tucker trials and facial fears. But the team who wins, who raises the most funds, will also get an animal encounter down at Huggle Pets. Well, we'll announce that in a short while's time. Meanwhile, the who is it gone in the quiz? Who is our runner-up and who is our winner, please? So our runner-up is Wolverhampton College with 16.5 points. And our winners are FBC Mambi Bowdler with 22 points. Well, congratulations. Woo! Well done, FBC Mambi Bowdler. Well done, Bowdler. everyone. Well thank you all for taking part it's been great to have you involved uh, if you do want to get in touch with the team over at Huggle Pets we can be doing this again if you want to put your team in it would be great to have you along and uh, we can have a bit of fun quizzing on the radio and getting uh, your team around the office or working from home however it comes together involved and uh, Hannah to give us all the details and uh, how they can uh, still continue to donate even after we've got the final scores on the donations in a minute or two's time Yep, so if you want to donate, you can go to our website. It's www.hugglepetsinthecommunity.co.uk and just click on the donate button at the top, uh, click on the fundraisers and you can sponsor your favourite team. Thank you to everybody for taking part. Congratulations, FBC Mammy Bowder. And uh, only little cons- commiserations to the, the team from the City of Warhampton College. You did a sterling job there. Thank you all for joining us and we look forward to seeing you all in your respective roles soon. ta now. 